congratulations, gentlemen, for another successful season of My Hero Academia. Thank you very Thank much. You. Hey, terrific, terrific. How, how, does it, how does it feel returning to, you know, dubbing a, another season, this time season five, for, for this successful series? It's the best to be on a show like this. Um, first of all, I'm a comic book fan, so I love superheroes in general. But just this show is so good. It's so deep. Uh, the characters, it's, it's beyond just surface. You know, these are the powers and whatever. Um, so it's, it's very exciting to be on the show. Yeah, it's, it's nice to, uh, it's nice to see the show just explode in popularity. And so coming, coming back to continue doing the show at what feels like the peak of its popularity is really, really intimidating. And uh, it's, it's a good kind of intimidating. It means we're really going to bring our game. Yeah, there's nothing better than a challenge like that. Right, yeah. Yeah, that's terrific. Um, in in your own words, what do you? Why do you think this show is so successful? I mean, it has a massive, massive following. Because it's not just about superpowers yeah. and stuff. It's about hearts, about relationships. Um, you right, know, it's right. a it's almost a soap opera. You know, it's like you 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 follow these characters and and you can keep following them for a long time. You know? I, you, I you, it's that... worth investing your time. You know. Yeah, and I think that, like, nobody has a great experience in high school, you know? Mm -hmm. Everybody, everybody hopes that the experience that they have in high school is that they're superheroes, you know? High school is so hard for so many people. I think people who are in high school and people who were in high school look back and wish that they had something some sort of thing that made them feel more special and unique and not just like somebody who was being stared at and judged by people around them all the time, which is, I know how I felt in high school. I know how a lot of people felt like that. So I think they really dial into seeing these, these characters in ways that they wished they could have been in high school or could be now in high school. One of the things that fans always wonder about uh, voice actors, whether they're actually true fans of a show, something like this. You guys, I bet you, you guys were familiar with the show. Did you binge all the episodes all at once for yourselves? Or did I'm it in the process of binging them <laughs> and reading the manga. Uh, I have, I'm watching the show with my daughter. I, I, it's uh, part of the other thing about this job is you work very quickly and uh there's not a whole lot of time to do a whole lot of research and there's not a whole lot of time really to do a lot of follow-up you know i mean sunny and i have uh families and houses and you know big lives that we have to attend to outside of this so i don't have a whole lot of hours in the day to sit down and watch really anything um, so i in tiny increments watch it with my daughter uh, getting her on board with the show because um, I really think cause she's right. She's 15. So she's right at the right age. Well, we were talking about the pressure. You were talking about the pressure of doing a show like this with so much expectations. And I, I just recently I cast on this and I'm like, Oh crap, I, I need to catch up. I need to figure out what's going on here. There's a lot yeah. going on in this world. Uh, yeah, the easiest true. way for me is like to read manga, but it doesn't always, you know, adhere to the manga. You know, but at least that gives me a good idea of what's going on and I can read it faster. Oh, most excellent. Eric, how long did it take you to uh, to develop that voice for T Tamura? I mean, it, it is it is an intimidating voice. I do have I'm going to guess <laughs> eight lines. Uh, it was it was about, I would say, less than five minutes. Um, I was I showed up to the booth to record, uh, I had auditioned for hero characters and was brought in to voice uh, a bad guy. That's all I knew. This is a bad guy. Said, Great, cool, let's do it. So I got in, I was shown what the character was, his name, style, and all that stuff. And then I was shown some lines on the screen and Colleen Clinkenbeard, the director, was, she said, all right, let's figure out a voice. We had to figure out what this guy sounds like. And so I started by, she's, she's like, 
look at him, read what you think he sounds like. So that's where we started. And then we just played around with it a little bit until she was happy with what she was hearing from me. And, and that's, yeah, it was about a five minute process, you know, not so bad. <laughs> well, I'm going to, I'm, I'm also going to throw it back to you, to you, Sonny, about, uh, you know, this time you're doing the voice of re, re Destro, um, but, uh, but you were also voicing previously for, uh, President Mike, am I correct? So that's right. So, 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 tell us about completely you know, different character. Yeah, they're they're they are different characters. They are also different voices. How how do yeah. you how are you pull this one off? How did I what? I'm sorry, you dropped. How it. are you? How are you going to pull this one off? Oh, magnificently! Uh. Um, you you're all just going to be amazed. Uh, actually, we've we've done one session, and um, I'll make sure I see Eric's frozen. Are you there too? I'm still here. Okay, good. Um, we've done one session, and like Eric, you know, I, I came in with some basic ideas of it from my audition, but uh, we did about um, about eight lines in, and Colleen goes, okay, I like, can we focus more in this area or that area? And then we can go back and re-recorded it. Um, but uh, that's pretty much how we found it. Most, Was that most, the question? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Ter terrific. Off, and I and I know uh, to to start wrapping things up. I know you guys probably been asked so many times, but uh, would you guys would like to have quirks, or what quirks would would that be? You know, I've actually given this some thought. I would like to have a quirk where I could mentally slap people in the back of the head, um, and then they would know why they were slapped and instantly correct their behavior. And I would save the world just by driving around town, slapping bad drivers in the back of the head. They'd be like, ow, oh, I should have done that. And they would just drive on. And that's the quirk I would really love to have. I do like that quirk. That's a good one. Especially up here. Uh, a lot of bad drivers uh, up here. <laughs> uh, for me, uh, I've always thought the quirk that I would want is the quirk to be able to manifest any meal you've ever had. So, like, if you could think back to, oh, do you remember that uh, wonderful chicken fried steak I had in the middle of nowhere 10 years ago? I want that right now. Boom, chicken fried steak. Oh, I want to change mine to that. That sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> you, you guys come up with ter terrific Kurt works. Um, Eric, um, before, before I let you go, Eric, this is for, directly for you. I want, I'm just curious, in the voice booth, when you're actually voicing Tamura, do you ever do this to yourself? <laughs> no, <laughs> never have, never have. I uh, I do that in pictures when I when uh, when I have uh, fans who like the character, I'll I'll, I'll do that for pictures, but uh, never in the booth. <laughs> well, Got to get that audio file clean, you know. That's terrific. Well, hey, gentlemen, hey, thank you once again. Can't wait to. Uh, to watch the dub version of um, season five of My Hero Academia. Thank you very much for speaking with us. Nice meeting you. Thank Thanks, you. Gig. Take care.